The Rocket Mortgage Credit Card. This credit card is promising to be the card made for home ownership by getting you up to 5% back on your purchases towards your mortgage. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but it could be the credit card you've been looking for. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything about the Rocket Mortgage Credit Card. I'll have chapters in this video, so skip around to the section that is most relevant to you. First, what are the multipliers on this card? Well, actually there aren't any, or it's every single multiplier depending on how you think about it. So for the Rocket Mortgage Credit Card, every dollar you spent when you use this card, you will receive five rocket reward points and there's no limit on how much you can earn. And this is for every purchase. There's no categories on this card. So if you're going to be shopping at Target, that's five points per dollar. If you go get something out to eat, that's also five points per dollar. No matter where you swipe this card, it will always be five points per dollar. And that sounds pretty great. I don't think we've ever had a credit card that gets you five points per dollar. I think the most I've ever seen on a credit card is getting 3% back on everything. And there's a good reason that we've never seen that before. Because every time you swipe your card, the bank only makes 2.5 percent on that transaction. So of course they're not going to give you a multiplier on everything that's more than 2.5 percent because at that point they would be losing money. So how does a rocket card give you five points per dollar? And here's where it gets complicated. There are three ways to redeem your points. Redeeming your points for closing costs and down payment, redeeming your points towards your mortgage, and as a statement credit or cash. First redeeming your points towards the closing costs or down payment. This method is going to be the best method to maximize your points because when you redeem it this way you'll get one cents per point. And since you're getting five points per dollar, basically a flat 5% cash back on all your purchases. So that's pretty awesome. So let's say you spent $5,000. So when you spent that $5,000, you would have racked up 25,000 points. When you redeem it towards the closing cost and down payment, that would be worth $250. But one of the main downsides of this method is you can only redeem up to $8,000. But I really don't think there should be a cap in the first place. It's kind of ridiculous. And there are other downsides, but I'll go more into that later. And then the second way to redeem your points is towards your mortgage balance. And when you redeem it this way. From my understanding, there's no limits for this method. However, you are going to be redeeming your points for less value at 0.4 cents per point. So using the example we used earlier, if you spent $5,000, you'll get 25,000 points. But when you redeem those 25,000 points towards paying down your mortgage, you'll only be getting $100 instead of $250. Therefore, on the $5,000 spend, that's only a 2% cashback value. Still not terrible. You still get 2% back on everything with the potential of saving those points for 5% back, but definitely not the most optimal way to redeem your points. Well, how about the last method, getting it back as statement credit or cash? So this is actually going to be the worst way to redeem your points. It's still not terrible. Using the same example we used earlier, if you spent $5,000, you would get 25,000 points, right? When you redeem those points, they're only worth 0.25% of a cents per point. So therefore, if you're spending $5,000 and you get 25,000 points, you can only redeem those points for a statement credit for $62.50 or cash back from that $5,000, that's 1.25% back on everything. So at least it's not 1% back on everything, but still not the best way to redeem your points if you got this card. Now, what if the Rocket Mortgage Card does work for you? How do you pay down your mortgage or down payment? So when you sign up for the Rocket Card, you'll automatically be enrolled in the My Rocket program. The dashboard will look like this. It's pretty clean, so that's pretty nice. But you'll see your point balance on the side on the left here. Just click on that, and then you'll see your point balance, activities, histories, and about rewards. Under that, it'll show you the ways you can redeem your points. So currently in my account when I signed up for the Rocket program, I have 7,500 points. If I wanted to use it towards a new home purchase, I would just redeem it here. And according to Rocket Rewards, my 7,500 points would be worth $75. Of course you can't use this method until you get a mortgage, but this is how you would redeem your points. If you already had an existing mortgage, it would also be on this page and you can just redeem your points towards your mortgage and start paying down towards that mortgage principal. Because that's one thing if it matters to you. When you redeem your Rocket points towards your mortgage, it'll pay down the principal balance, it won't affect your monthly mortgage payment. So let's say your mortgage is $1,000. When you redeem your Rocket points towards your mortgage, you'll still be paying that minimum payment of $1,000 every month. You'll just be able to pay your mortgage faster, therefore paying less interest on your mortgage. But one thing that's nice since you're earning Rocket points, they don't expire and from my understanding if you were to cancel this card you would still keep the points because you don't only earn rocket points using the credit card just by completing activities you'll also earn rocket points the credit card is just a way to earn points faster and without doing too much and making daily purchases now how about the features or insurances on this card you'll basically almost get the same insurances that you get normally with visa signature cards so you know like freezing your card like locking it you also have access to auto pay and this thing called smart pay which is basically auto pay, but instead of paying off your balance on a specific date, it will pay off your balance in chunks. So like a weekly payment to make sure that you're paying off your card. You also get extended warranty protection up to an extra year when you make purchases on this card.
card. For a lost or stolen item within like 30 days, you'll be covered up to $10,000. So if someone steals something out of your car or they took it off your porch, then you wouldn't have to worry about that cost. And also you'll get cell phone protection for damage or theft, up to $750 with a $50 deductible when you pay your wireless bill on this credit card every month. So pretty standard Visa signature card benefits. However, there is an extra benefit you're getting with this card, and that is a membership for Rocket Money for free. Usually the membership for Rocket Money you're going to be paying annually is about $3 a month, so $36 a year. But if you pay month to month, that cost is $12 per month, or $144 a year. So what do you get with Rocket Money? It's basically one of those apps that takes all your financial information and puts it all in one app. So you can manage your finances easier. You can see how much you spent, how much you earned, how much income you had this month, how much you paid in bills and utilities, how much you spent this month, and how much you saved, along with the ability to find subscriptions and cancel them for you. They also have this feature where they can lower your bills and they'll somehow negotiate it on your behalf to get you the best rates. So for example, you're paying for like a Wi-Fi bill, maybe through Verizon Fios. If somehow Rocket Money can find you a lower rate, they'll get you that lower rate based on my understanding. So that's pretty neat. And of course, they'll also monitor your credit score through the app. So it's pretty great if you want everything to be condensed in one place. Would I be using this? No, I wouldn't. I don't really need it and I don't really care too much for these apps. I like to keep a journal where I can manually write everything down. But hey, if you're already paying for Rocket Money, then this card might be worth picking up. And those were the main features and insurances when you hold this card. Now how about the fees? How much does it cost? Okay, so the fees are a little bit tricky as well. Officially, it does cost $95. However, if you have a mortgage with Rocket, then the annual fee is waived. So that's nice that you have a mortgage with Rocket already, but of course sucks for anyone looking to buy a home. Other fees on this card is it does have an APR range between 20% to 30%. So that's quite high for a credit card. I'm kind of surprised. However, on this card, I'm pretty surprised they don't have any foreign transaction fees. So if you wanted to use this card internationally, you shouldn't have any problems, so that's pretty nice. There is a late payment fee up to $25 and a return payment fee of $37. If, for example, you went to go pay off the Rocket Mortgage card and for some reason it didn't go through, then that fee will apply. And for balance transfers and cash advances, you currently can't do this with this card, and I'm not sure if they'll let you do that in the future. But overall, it's a pretty basic setup for a credit card. But before we go more into the Rocket Mortgage card, quick word from our sponsor. Gotta say, Esther is my favorite wallet. They use very nice high quality leather with some very fine stitching. Their most popular version of the wallet, the Parliament wallet, also has two card slots in the flat, and they also have a card slot in the back. But if you have room in the back pocket, they sell this tracker card that'll fit in the back of the wallet, along with something else they sell, a money clip. But of course, instead of the covers, it'll be cash that you'll be putting in here. Right now, Esther is having a 30% off sale, with up to 40% off with some bundles. However, if you use my link down below, or use code Calby at checkout, then you'll be getting an extra 5% off this already ridiculous sale. But definitely don't delay, because this promotion ends on June 20th, and everything I just showed off is part of the Father's Day bundle. But instead of getting one set, you'll be getting two sets in the Father's Day bundle. Maybe one for your dad and maybe one for yourself or maybe a grandparent. I think it's one of the best deals I've ever seen. So definitely don't delay and remember to use the link down below or use code Calby at checkout to get that extra 5% off. But let's get back to the video. Now, for some reason, this card still interests you. Maybe it works with your lifestyle. Does it come with a welcome bonus? And yes, it does. Currently, they're offering a $200 statement credit when you spend $3,000 within 90 days. So within three months. So that's not terrible, about 6% return on your spend. Is it the best welcome bonus that is out there? No, it's not. But I think if this card works for you, might as well pick up a welcome bonus. For some reason, I'm kind of surprised they don't give you the welcome bonus as rocket points. Instead, they give it to you as a cash statement credit, which I think is kind of dumb. But hey, free money is money, right? All right, what if you still want to apply for the card? Are there any restrictions? And there are a couple. This credit card is only open to the US states. So you can't have this card if you live in US territories or other countries. Also, you can only have one Rocket card. To my surprise, they actually had another credit card they offered before this one. It kind of sucks. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't even earn any points. If for some reason you do have the older Rocket card, I would just recommend canceling that and applying for the new one because I will admit it is a better card than that one. And the last restriction is you can only apply for the Rocket card every 32 days. So that's something to keep in mind. This card is ran by Celtic Bank and powered through Deserve. I don't think I have too much experience with that bank, but I haven't heard 
heard anything negative from my knowledge, but if you do have a negative experience, I would rethink if you want to apply for this card. Here's another question you may be asking. Do you have to have a rocket mortgage to apply for this card? And actually, no, you don't. Anyone can apply for this card. So that's pretty neat. You can start racking up points before you actually get a mortgage through rocket mortgage. And you don't have to have a rocket mortgage to redeem your points as a statement credit. However, the biggest downside with this card is you can only redeem the points towards a mortgage or a down payment through a rocket mortgage only. So you wanted to redeem your points towards a mortgage. It has to be a rocket mortgage, which is not the best option because when I was talking to my realtor friend, Anthony Venture, he told me when you go through local banks to get a mortgage, you'll usually get a better rate and an interest rate. So when you're going through a big company like Rocket Mortgage, you might not be getting the best rate, therefore canceling out the benefit you get from this card. But if Rocket Mortgage works for you, then this card might not be a bad addition to your pocket. Oh, and also, if you're hoping to get this card to basically pay off your mortgage before you even get a mortgage, there is a restriction. You can only redeem your points up to $8,000, or that would be 800,000 points. So spending $160,000 on this card, which kind of sucks when you have this limit, especially since this card has an annual fee and so many restrictions. One interesting thing though, is if you earn points outside of the credit card, you can also add an extra $2,000 from that. So in total for a down payment for a rocket mortgage loan, you can get up to $10,000. So that's pretty nice, but I really hate that limit. And before we go into the application, there's also one more thing that you should know. So far, you can't redeem your points for a refinance transaction just yet. You can also not redeem your points towards a third party origin loan and a Charles Schwab partner loan. So you have to go directly through rocket mortgage. So kind of a lot of restrictions for $95 annual fee credit card. But if you haven't clicked away from the video just yet, this is what the application process looks like. Well, at least the pre-approval process, which won't pull your credit score and will check if you're approved for the rocket mortgage card before it actually checks your credit score. So just click on apply now. It'll have you sign up for a rocket rewards account. Just follow the steps through that process. After you're done, it'll ask for your phone number, type that in and then click continue. And then I'll send a code to your phone. Just type in the code and then click continue. After that, it'll ask when your birthday is, what's your address, and then they'll ask you a couple questions to see if you're pre-approved. So like what's your current employment status, what's your main source of income, and then what's your gross income before tax. And then it'll ask if you own or rent your home. Just select whichever one, then click continue, and then what's your monthly rent. And this would be the portion that you would be responsible for. And if you were to click own, it would ask what your mortgage is. And if you already paid off your mortgage, it would be zero. And then I'll ask for your social security number. Just type that in, read the terms, and then click agree to the term. And remember, this is pre-approval. It will not affect your credit score. And then here's the cardholder agreement. But just read through that, check the box, and then click submit. And then it will see if you're pre-approved. And apparently I wasn't pre-approved for some reason, which I'm completely fine with. I didn't really want this card to begin with. But the reason why I wasn't approved for the Rocket card was because I had too many recent inquiries on my credit bureau report or my credit score, which is only like five. So that's a little bit strange. I didn't think five is that much but whatever. But you were approved and you're wondering about the card, whether it's plastic or metal, for some reason you care. It is metal and it does look like a good metal, like how the metal Verizon card looks or like the Apple card or the X1 card. But overall, this card is just trash because there are cheaper ways to get a mortgage. You're not really getting 5% back and there's a cap. And for getting 2% back on your mortgage, why not just get a 2% everything card like the city double cash, where every time you use the city double cash to pay for something, you'll be getting a flat 2% back on everything and you can redeem it as cash. Cash. So you can use that cash to pay down your mortgage. I think for the average person, this card is not worth picking up. It definitely had the potential of being a game changing card in the credit card space, especially with Built ruling the renting space. The only reason that I can see someone picking up this card, is you already have a rocket mortgage and you're looking to buy a new home. So you can get the annual fee waived and use the points that you're racking up towards the down payment of your new home. Or if for some reason you're paying for rocket money, then maybe this card is worth picking up. But overall, it's just not worth it in my opinion. And yeah, that was everything you should know about the Rocket Mortgage Card, and I'll see you later.